Hey Facebook Live peeps, this is Judy Matejcik, Life Mastery Consultant with day 32 out of 40 with our uh, talking today about intuition or our second mental faculty. Bam. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am following my intuition today. And for those of you who uh, were with us yesterday, we were talking about our six mental faculties. Hi, guys. Now, we all know about our five senses, you know, taste, touch, smell, sight, and hearing. And we're in this study now of our six mental faculties. Yesterday, we talked about imagination and imagining things. Uh, imagining, you know, what our life would be like, what we would love to live. Today, I wanted to bring you out into the Texas hill country again. And um, I was looking for, intuitively looking for, and searching for blue bonnets. And I know they're out here, know they're out here. And my intuition, which is that gut feeling, stopped me and said, wait a minute, you're missing the point here. This is about intuition. And there's a story I want to tell about intuitively knowing something and going against it. Have you ever intuitively known that you should or should not done something and you went and did it anyway? Well, here's my story about that. You see this? Anybody know what this is? Comment below. I know that you Texans know what these are. Uh-huh. Prickly pear cactus. Oh. All right. Now, my story is this. I, we moved down here in the 1980s from northern Wisconsin. <laughs> northern Wisconsin, where it's snowing and minus 40 degrees right now. And we moved down here in April to Texas. Uh, everyone was in their flip-flops. <laughs> we had undershirts and boots. Uh, intuitively knowing what do I need to do so uh, of course you know one of the things I like to do is explore <laughs> go out and explore where you are appreciate where you are so we were, I was out walking and uh, I'm like wow all my buddies in Wisconsin they've never been here and this is back in the 80s where you couldn't just you know hit the cell phone and, and uh, check it out hey Mr. Lindemeyer Arizona in the house and um, you know, and so it was like this intuitively knowing that I needed to explore right here what it was. So this was back in the 80s. Anybody alive in the 80s back there? Yeah, you know, most, most of you. And I was out exploring. This is where I'm walking, and I came across one of these. Now, Mr. Lindemore, I know you know what these are, living in Arizona. So I'm like, wow, far out. I'm going to cut a little thing off of here and packages it and send it up to Wisconsin for my friends. <laughs> right? Now, you know, that's kind of my first, and so I reached out and to break off a part of the prickly cactus and ah! <laughs> you all know, yeah, hopefully you'll never know the extent of that feeling where you like, ah! You get them in there like, oh my god, you can't get those suckers out. And you realize, like, whoops, uh, this is not a flower to be pit, um, and which is why they grow like this, you know. And there's wild hogs that live out here, and uh, you know, they could eat these things, but not you. So at any rate, prickly pear cactus, intuitively knowing that this is part of spring too. As the season progresses, they will have the most beautiful yellow flower on them. And they even make prickly pear cactus jelly. Uh, if you want some, you know, comment below, I'll mail you some. All right, so I wanted to take you on another little part of spring in Texas. Today is the first part day of spring. Uh, this is up the road from my house, my little smart car. Yes, Mr. Linderboy, I have a smart car. <laughs> okay, and um, I went around, I thought I would explore a new road, and I came across this old barn, and intuitively I'm like wondering, like, wow, wonder what's in there, or I wonder what was in there, it's fallen down now, there's a lot of old barns like this around where I live, and you know, imagining, going back to yesterday's um, 
yesterday's uh, mental faculty and imagining what it was like to live here and to have this big barn no longer in use and then I'm going to walk up through and just check out this home. I think somebody still might live there but Check it out, Christy Karate, you are getting prickly pear cactus jelly. Okay, now this is an old home. It's no longer there. There might be somebody living there, you never know. And so intuitively knowing, intuitively knowing what to do. Intuitively knowing mine was to get up, keep moving, get out and do my exercise and walk, but intuitively knowing that I was going to see something today that I've never seen before. I've never seen this barn or old home. Now, in contrast, check this out. See if you can see it. Up there in the landscape is a new water tower where a brand new development is going in. And there you go. There you go. It's a new development over there. Water towers, homes, pristine lawns. Uh, you know, water sprinklers, everything, just right over there. And here is the beauty. I think Christy would love to paint this. So at any rate, what is the intuition? It's listening to that gut sense, intuitively knowing, intuitively knowing what your next right step is. And the way we do that is to get quiet, imagine what is mine to do today here we go okay now some of you might ask how do I know the voice from in, voice of intuition from those other voices that go on in your head I don't know if you have those but I certainly do now the voice of intuition will never be mean will never be little, will never be guilt, or never be shame. Those are not good <laughs> intuition. There are two kinds of thoughts, contracting thoughts and expanding thoughts. Your intuition is into your expansion and your growth. So, whew, there you go. Day 32 of 40. I love you. I bless you. Go out and use your intuition. Just practice it for about a half an hour where you're intuitively knowing what your next step is. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're out there, um, just look at cactus from afar. <laughs> Later on today, I'll take some more pictures. Yeah, I have a coaching day today. Oh, many of you know I'm a life mastery consultant and, and life coach. So if that interests you, you know, comment below. I have a few slots left over on left on Thursday and Fridays where I I um, take time for uh, co you know complimentary coaching sessions to see if maybe what we do is a good fit. If you'd like to um, come along with me on some of these adventures, uh, Thursday and Friday, let's talk, uh, and intuitively you'll know if this is your right move. So. Over and out for today. Happy first day of spring. Live fully, love openly, accomplish brilliantly. Judy Matejczyk, Life Mastery Consultant. Over and out, walking past the cactus with reverence.